fitness star Tom Yannick as the key to the success story of All-Pro Lance Allworth. Well, I think it's his speed mainly. He uh, runs at a real slow. It looks like he's just barely moving. He's a real easy runner, but uh, he's real quick once he makes his break, and uh, he's hard to catch up with afterwards. Allworth isn't big, but he's strong, and he can fly. All-Pro cornerback Butch Bird also has great respect for Lance. Well, Lance is, uh, what makes Lance so tough to cover is his great speed. Uh, he's just quick, uh, very fast. He's about a 9-7 sprinter, and he just outruns you most of the time. Would you like to have a game, one game, where you could go out there and play without somebody mauling you all the way down the field like they have uh, <laughs> past five yards today? I wouldn't know what that game was like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, I don't think that would be any fun for me, but uh, it, it might be fun to see the results, but it wouldn't be fun for me to originally play that way. If they throw the ball, I don't care what kind of route that I would run or, or, or whatever, but when they threw the ball, the ball was mine. Lance Allworth possessed a license to thrill, a license that not only granted spectacular plays, but gave respectability to an entire football league. For this, Allworth became the first AFL player to be inducted into the Hall of Fame.
No one questioned Lance as being destined for greatness. Lance captured the imagination of football fans throughout the country. Number 19, in his finest hour, Hall of Famer, Lance Olsen. Well, I don't guess after hearing that introduction that anybody is wondering now why I chose the AFL. In fact, he was a big reason why I did. Now, I want to thank you for those kind words today. You know, at this point in time, it's hard to get words out, but just thank you very much. And I got on the phone, and I, my dad was on there, and I said, Dad, your son just got voted. I couldn't get out. I couldn't finish it. And, uh, it, I mean, think it's emotional for me even right now. <laughs> and uh, I realized at that moment that all the things that I had done, in professional football uh, and college and all the athletic things that I had done, I have been trying to prove to him that I was that like guy. Hey, Dad, I really am good. Lance, you have one of the greatest nicknames in the history of the NFL, Bambi. Tell me how that came about. Well, that's just Charlie Flowers from Ole Miss. I know you probably remember him. I knew Charlie Flowers. Yeah, he just looked at me one day and he said, he's got short hair, he's got big old brown eyes, and he runs with his legs up like a deer. We're going to call him Bambi. And I said, Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Did it bother you? Uh, it didn't really bother me, but it wasn't one that was, uh, you know, wasn't that masculine to me. I, mean, just, I didn't <laughs> like, like it. it. You didn't like it? No. I said, if I'd be quiet, it would go away. <laughs> And it didn't, of course, and it stuck. I'd have to say it was really a God-given talent. Uh, it's an eye-hand coordination, and uh, I think a desire of wanting the ball above everything else. When the ball was up there, I felt like it was mine. It's great to be remembered. I just feel very humble because I was given that talent. I feel very humble with the company that I am. I feel very awed, and I feel very, very proud to be included in this group of athletes. It's the most tremendous thing that's ever happened to me in my athletic career, and I'm just very happy about it. I want to thank football fans all over the country. I want to thank the people here in Canton and the people at the Hall of Fame. This weekend has been football's greatest weekend to me and my family. I thank you for letting us partake. It's an experience that we will never forget. I've often heard that Canton is uh, the capital, or the football capital of the world. I never believed it until today, but I do now. greatest satisfaction in the world is to go up and get hit, catch the ball, go up, catch the ball, and, and the guy hits you at the same time, you fall three or two or whatever, I mean, they fall together and they look around and you have the ball, and you're like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> it's pretty special. No, there's nothing like that. It's just your will against theirs. And they don't think that you succeeded, but you have. Tough life, but a wonderful life. All the good things and all the other things, they make you where you are. Would you change anything? Not a thing. Not one thing. <laughs>